Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, back again, another video. Um, this time we are going to be talking about something a little more, a little more relevant, a little more mainstream. We are going to be talking about one of the newer characters, or I guess newest, kind of, one of the newest characters, um, Mr. Burntrap. Mr. William Afton himself, or Burntrap, really. Um, because most people, when they look at him, they probably just think, yeah, okay, that's Scrap Trap after the fire of FNAF 6, maybe mixed in there with an endoskeleton of someone by the name of Bonnie, and, uh, that's that. But I, after looking at him, could not take that for an answer, and I think I said this in my last video, or maybe I didn't. But my last video kind of has to do with this, is when I see characters that at least slightly resemble previous characters, or like are different versions of previous characters, I instantly put pictures of them beside each other, and then compare. Because the, these things matter, the differences matter. Like, when you think of Springtrap and Scraptrap, they, if anyone, and I think people do, think that they are the same animatronic, they are just wrong. And I, this isn't what I'm talking about today, not necessarily, but I'm just gonna, you want a little bit of a tangent here. You can look at literally every part of Scraptrap to find a difference. <clears throat> uh, the nose... Like, literally down to the nose. The nose material, the snout, the jaw. Uh, he has feet, Springtrap doesn't. The legs and arms, shape and size and slimness. You can look at the damaging in arms, legs, and whatever. It's missing the big hole in the chest that Springtrap had. Um, the body's much slimmer. He doesn't have, like, a weird pelvis thing that Springtrap does. Or maybe he does, it just looks different. Scraptrap doesn't have shoulders. Springtrap does, um, you know, the hand, there, the endoskeleton, there is no endoskeleton on the hand, like, I could go on and on, there's, it's so much different than Springtrap, so I could not take that for an answer that they were the same, that's something for another day though, today we're talking about Burn Trap. it's kind of the same deal, when I saw it, I'm like, that's not Scrap Trap, and some of you may disagree, but just hear me out. I'm going to tell you what the theory is first. My theory is that Vanny, being mind controlled by Glitch Trap, was commanded by Glitch Trap to recreate William and preserve his body first of all. So that's why he was inside of the, uh, the big charging station. And also because he had a Glamrock endoskeleton, so the charging station could actually work for him because he's in a Glamrock endoskeleton. Um, but to rebuild him, and why not use none other than the other versions of William Afton? Because as we see, all the previous animatronics have been thrown down there. So Vanny's got a lot to work with, and she's brought Freddy down there before, so maybe Freddy helped her do it. Maybe that's why he's able to control Freddy so easily and doesn't just control the other ones. Because the other ones don't have purple eyes, like Freddy does. The other ones are doing it the same reason they've been doing it the whole time, but Freddy has to actually be controlled by William. Anyway, so... What I'm saying is Burn Trap is made out of, obviously, Glamrock Bonnie, but he's made out of Spring Trap and Scrap Trap combined. Okay? And here's why. Looking at Scrap, or looking at Burn Trap, <clears throat> the, the biggest thing is the head. You look at his head, and then you look at Scrap Trap and Spring Trap, his snout looks nothing like scrap traps the ears are different he doesn't have the massive hole in the top of the head that scrap trap does um the nose material and shape again 
the... <clears throat> just like everything in general. But he does look very similar to Springtrap. The snout is the same size, the nose is the same material, and even the ears, they look different. They're a lot smaller in, in like width and length, but in height, they're kind of the same. But you'll notice that Springtrap, and also Scraptrap doesn't even have a right ear whatsoever, but yet Burntrap does. If you look at Burntrap's right ear, you'll see two metal bars sticking out the top of it. And wouldn't you know it, if you look at Springtrap, you can just barely see those same two bars sticking out the top of his. Uh, same with the other ear, you can see two bars inside of the other ear. And if you look at the endoskeleton that Scott released a long time ago of Springtrap, then you can see that his left ear is made kind of the same way with the, the two bars. I'll, put, I'll be putting pictures on screen so you know what I'm talking about. But you can see the ears and their similarities to Springtrap's. And the fact that Scraptrap doesn't even have all of the ears that uh, Burntrap does. Um, next thing, the feet. Um, Burntrap's left foot is from Scraptrap. It's very easy to tell the three toes. It's an actual foot. The right one, however, is from Springtrap. Because it is literally Springtrap's foot. I don't think I really need to go in depth anymore. It even has the little strands of like meat or flesh or tendon or whatever it is just like spring traps does most of burn traps actual animatronic body not including endoskeleton looks like it would come from spring trap the torso is is wider and broader um while scrap trap it's thinner same with like the pelvis thing um he has a little bit on his left arm Scrap Trap doesn't even have a left arm, so obviously it has to belong to Springtrap. He does have some on his right arm, though, and that's my next point. His right hand comes from Scrap Trap. You can tell because of the bony fingers that Scrap Trap has, and, uh, yeah. So, basically, Burn Trap is just a combination of Spring and Scrap Trap together. Uh, most of it's taken from Springtrap. But the base would be from Scrap Trap, obviously, because that was his most previous suit. That's why his whole right arm would be Scrap Traps. Um, he also has a shoulder, I believe, his right shoulder, and that has to be from Spring Trap because Scrap Trap didn't have shoulders. Now, if you look into the torso and stuff, you'll realize that the holes and damaging and scratches and scrapes aren't exactly Spring Traps. But, you know, the thing is, it has to come from somewhere. So those are the only two characters we can really think of that it could come from. And continuity isn't a huge, you know, thing in the FNAF franchise. I mean, they made Phantom Chica FNAF 1 style, but, but Phantom Foxy and Freddy FNAF 2 style. Like, what was that all about? Don't know. You know, the Nightmare's designs are supposed to be the Withered animatronics designs, but Freddy's and Foxy's, like, jaws are different. Um, I will say, though, Nightmare Bonnie, his left, or no, his right hand and left foot are missing their fur, just like Withered Bonnie. I thought that was something kind of cool that I, that I saw while looking at him. Well, I actually drew him one time, that's when I noticed. Um, <clears throat> anyway... Uh, we're getting a little off topic here, but like I was saying, continuity isn't a huge thing in this franchise. Um, but it's just the fact that uh, the head literally, it, it is Springtrap's head. You can even tell, again, the damaging isn't the same. But if you look closely, some of the holes and scratches and stuff like that on Burntrap's head can slightly resemble the holes you'll see on Springtrap's head. Not exactly, but kind of slightly. Um, and I feel like they did that on purpose to tell us that it is from there. It does, they don't... It, no, it is Steel Wool, that's the thing. Steel Wool has their own models. They, did, they made their own models for VR. And then Illumix made their own models for AR. So models... 
can change. And I mean, from Scott's to Steel Wolves to Illumix's models of the regular five animatronics, they've just gotten progressively more shiny and less furry. I don't, I'm not gonna show you that on screen, but if you look at those three models, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, getting a little off topic again. Something weird to note is his, is Burn Trap's eyes. It's weird because they're just big gray spheres with purple dots and they don't look like they they wouldn't have come from scrap or spring trap and they didn't it doesn't look like they would have come from the glamrock endos either so i'm not 100 percent sure about that and also the whole thing about bonnie being the endo if i'm not going to explain the whole thing so i'd suggest watching matt pat's video on it um but looking at at Burn Trap, there you can tell that he has a Glamrock Endo, just from like the left arm, the legs. You can see like the weird ring things on the legs. Um, if you look in like the torso, just below the torso, you can see where it like connects to the torso and connects to like the legs. And if you put it next to a regular Glamrock Endo, like you can start comparing and contrasting. And you'll have a lot of similarities between the two. The shoulder, like the shoulders, or like the, the shoulder connector things or whatever you want to call them. Big round spall things that the Glamrock Endo has, that Burn Trap does. Like, lots of similarities. Um, <clears throat> I will say though, Burn Trap has a few extra of those weird circle, like things i don't know what they are part of the endoskeleton i guess on the top part of his right leg when the glamrock endos only have them on the bottom of their legs and you could just say vanny just put an extra few there but i think that it could actually be another thing about spring trap because spring traps legs are wider and if you look at the endo 2 he kind of has those ring things that i'm talking about and endo 2 would have been the model used for uh spring bonnie or golden bonnie and that's who spring trap is so it would make sense for him to have those so i think that's just some more evidence for it um but yeah basically we're basically this wasn't a long one i think i just made it a lot longer with me talking about random things that weren't really relevant to the topic but my basic theory vanny uh was being controlled by glitch trap down in the depths of the underground area and after fazbear entertainment went to the all the previous locations to pick up like um you know like remnants and like little pieces of the of everyone brought them back and threw them down there probably because, I don't know, they they couldn't find places to use them or something. Or, I don't know. I mean, Bolton Freddy decided to take over and just consume all of them. So. Um, it, unless it could have to do with FNAF 6. Maybe all the animatronics were somewhere in the FNAF 6 building. Um, including maybe Springtrap. Who knows? But basically, Vanny put those two together, um, along with Glamrock Bonnie's endo after being killed by Monty, and, uh, well, there you go. That's, that's, like, I could not take for an answer that Burn Trap was just Scrap Trap. It, 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 like, if you really look at the details, most of it looks like it comes from Spring Trap, and that would kind of make sense, because... We see Springtrap after the fire at the end of Sister Location, and he doesn't even seem that damaged. But Burn Trap, or sorry, Scrap Trap being in a fire, condemned to hell, and then rotting there for a long time would make more sense for it to be more decayed anyway. Him being way down there underground, too. It would make more sense for it to be more Springtrap than Scrap. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um... And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This This wasn't an insane theory or anything, um, but I do like the idea of Vanny. I, I think this is hilarious. Just listen to this sentence. A 
person in a bunny costume used a bunny to rebuild a bunny made of two bunnies who came from a bunny originally and is now a bunny who was rebuilt using two bunnies, or using three bunnies, who was built by a bunny controlled by a bunny. Yeah, that's... That's a sentence that you can say. Good luck trying to figure out what I was actually saying, though. Anyway, I'll... I'll uh, that's it for me, so I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.